guys, welcome back to Sodeth Gaming. We're going to be continuing this little adventure of getting this build done. And don't worry, this time I made sure that my mic was fully charged. So we don't have to worry about any audio cutout. So I got a couple things that I got here. Um, nothing too fancy. I changed some of the wiring on a couple of my speakers. Instead of using all the headers for individual fans, I bought uh, a couple of these. Uh, splitters that way a group of fans can go to one header now um, without overstretching a single header on the motherboard um, I, I made sure not to go over three um, and then those are all RGB controlled by the controller that's on the uh, the back chamber it's, it's the, uh, the node whatever they call it from Corsair um, also I've been trying, you know, this, this particular video has been delayed because I've been trying to get some cable combs um, because I want to comb the PCIe power cables and the ones that I originally got from Titan Rig, I mean, they, they uh, went ahead and refunded my order because, you know, I misread and the holes in the cable combs were too large. So you pretty much just drop the comb onto the wire and it'll just fall right off. And so um, I found another outfit. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but I will include that in the description. Um, I was like computer specialist or PC specialist or something like that. But uh, I, they cut their own, I believe, and they look pretty good. Um, there was paper on either side that had to be peeled off but uh yeah so these are 24 pin so uh big enough to accommodate you know three eight pin pcie power cables now i i've seen where cable mod has these where there's a, a kind of a space in between sets of four uh for the whole intent of having two eight pin but they didn't actually have um, one that was specifically designed for three PCIe, so I couldn't go that route. Um, but yeah, this these people cut these. I'm guessing probably like on a Glowforge or something, because uh, it's some it's pretty thick. It's uh, maybe about two and a half times as thick. Two, two and a half times as thick as your, uh, as the cable combs that uh, you normally get, like from cable mod and whatnot. So um, I'm gonna be doing that. Um, I'll probably try this cool little, um, what do you call it, time lapse feature on this. Also, now I don't have much, but I do, there's a little bit of GPU sag. So um, I've been seeing a lot of this people's product up here. And uh, I got a GPU support. It's RGB, addressable RGB. Now they have two versions. They have one that's um, gets power from SATA, and I think you can select the, the the color of it. Well, since everything else in the case is addressable RGB, I wanted to keep that trend. Um, now the ASUS board, I was surprised. I was able to sync it with the same um, lighting color scheme as I have with my on cue setup. And so, um, unfortunately, the graphics card doesn't. I just have it just blue or whatever. But because I have it synced to the IQ software, I'm going to use the ARGB header on the motherboard, and this should match the rest of the lighting scheme they have going on. So let's go ahead and open up the case here and I'll kind of show you what we got going on here. I do have one of the combs installed. Let's see if we can get that zoomed in at all. There. And so, sorry about the zoom quality, but I do have one of the combs installed just to see how it looks. And let's see if we can, let's see if I can show you this here. So if you see right there, there's the space in between the plugs. 
So I'm not going to be able to scoot this any closer, which that's all right. But that's what their combs were designed to, is to accommodate that small little bit of space in between these. But um, I haven't decided if I am going to... Whoop, sorry about that. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep these going under or, you know, come over and kind of do a little bit of a twist and go in between one of the other cable management holes. Um, I'll probably, I'm going to take this completely off and then uh, do another, like, you know, do the time lapse thing where I'm installing the combs and adjusting where I want them. And then we'll kind of just come back and see how everything looks, what's the best way it is to route everything. As far as the GPU support, um, it comes with um, longer screws to replace the uh, back panel screws here, or the slot screws, I should say. And it also comes with these two little rubber deals. You can choose one or the other, depending on how I have it mounted. I'll likely end up being using this one, I think. But, but because it's got these slots, you can adjust this up or down. Unfortunately, this one is ABS plastic. Um, up here does also have one that is aluminum. And it just has a, a strip down the middle that's ARGB. So if this doesn't do what I need it to do, I'll probably order the other one. And they're not much. They're, you know, like 15, 16 bucks. So it's a very small investment to get this taken care of. Now... I don't have much, but you see there's just just a little bit of GPU sag, not a whole lot. And so as time goes on, I mean, I'm, I'm probably just going to have it where it's just barely holding it. About right there. Not much. Um, and I know Jay's Two Cents had a video that talked about the tabs in the case where the bottom part of the slot goes into that you can adjust to help with that. But there's a lot of stuff on the back side that needs to be taken apart and... You know, as nice as this case is, I think Corsair could have used a heavier metal. Um, so I don't think that would really work with this case. But does, even if it did, it wouldn't give me the opportunity to use more RGB. So that's what we're going to work on. But um, since this is the EVGA RTX 3080, it does have the three fans. And they, they are staggered. Um, so the one in the middle is lower, and then the two on the other side are higher on the card. And so where this ends up, if I were to use this, for example, it'd be right in the middle of the fan. So I'd have to move it over a little bit, probably about like right here. So where it'll press up between the fans, because I don't want it to interfere. But I'll add that after the fact. But So let's just give a quick little preview. It'd be sitting there like that looking all pretty and everything so um the nice thing about the card being slightly higher too um you know with the slot where they were like um, it's gonna be kind of hard to see this but um let's see uh, let's see what i can do here with the card being out uh, a little bit taller you know, it's not flush with the top of this, so you don't have to worry about this like bowing out and going out like this or whatever. It's, it'll stay just slightly behind the top edge. So, yeah. So let me uh, take some things apart, get things, some things set up, and then uh, we'll resume recording. This is like so light balanced the way it probably shouldn't be balanced, but hey, what are you gonna do? All right, so I got to take out those three screws here. And we've got to replace these with the longer screws that come with this CPU bracket. You know, a magnetic tip would be helpful here. Oh, it comes with one too. How about that? All right, let's get that put together here. Make it easier for me to grab stuff as they get loose so I don't drop anything here come on come on that damn 
screws on it so damn tight. That definitely makes it easier. Good God. Damn Corsair, you guys really didn't want these screws to come out, did you? There we go. All right. Now, it comes with four. That's weird, because I'm only gonna need three. So, we'll start with one here. And that, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. for good measure here. All right. Hmm. Just loosen up where I can still slide it. Oh. Right. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Now I just gotta figure out which of these little doohickeys do I want to use. I'm thinking I want to use this one. Just gotta find a good placement for it here. Put that on there and make sure it's in between the fans because we don't want it to interfere with the cooling. kind of thinking that this peg isn't going to work the way I need it to, so let's try this other one see how it fits. Hmm. I'm thinking with the fact that it's ABS plastic, I might have to get the other, uh, get the aluminum one. I'm not sure that this is going to hold it up well enough. Yeah. I think because the way the RT, uh, EVJ's uh, cooler is, it's got a curve. And so where the uh, support sits, it sits right in that curve and makes it want to bow down. So making it less effective. I mean, luckily, the car doesn't have that much sag, so it's not that huge of a deal. I suppose, if anything, I could just use it for the time being for, like, cosmetic. I'm wondering if I can get the thing close enough to just to make just general contact with the card. Come on. See, it's, it's wanting to bow down. Does it interfere with the fan? It doesn't seem to be interfering with the fan. I suppose I could just push it up and leave it right there and that fan still spins that fan still spins so I could leave it there for the time being just to for argument's sake let's go ahead and push this up just a little bit here and tighten up these screws see what we got and then we'll go back to the drawing board maybe replace it later it's definitely going to affect my decision on how I want to route the power cables, whether I want to come over the top or go over the back. So, there's that. 
I'm not gonna untwist this. It should be long enough to reach the RGB header on the board. So I'll just extend that just a tad. I'll get that plugged in here. Hopefully, it'll light up the way it's supposed to light up. If I can get this on there, there we go. I mean, it's not ideal, but I mean, it's gonna have to do, I guess. <sighs> All right, well, we'll keep that there for now. Let's go ahead and work on getting my power cables combed out. And we'll do that through a time lapse since that will take just a, a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and get that set up. Went ahead and decided to route the uh, cable combs and the cables for the uh, power on the RTX up over the top, or I guess the back side of the card, really. And then the way they go through the grommet, since I stopped the combs just for the grommet, the cables are allowed to come back together. And it's, it's really kind of seamless, actually. It actually turned out a little bit better than I thought it would. Um, and there's some space in between the card and the combs and everything else to, have, you know, to allow the fan that's right here behind the car to kind of blow across that as well to still allow a decent amount of airflow for you know cooling and whatnot and so overall it's, it really cleans up this space down here and i got a couple of things still left that i'm gonna get like I'm, gonna, I'm still gonna get the two fans for down here and since um the bottom does support 140 millimeter fans. I'm going to get the QL 140s and put those down here, <clears throat> white obviously. And then, um, <clears throat> since my RGB controller is already filled up with the six fans that are already in place, um, I'm actually not using the RGB controller on my AIO pump. So, I think I'll connect those to that instead because um, when setting up the lighting effects in IQ, it you want them plugged in the order in which you want the effect to rotate throughout the case. So the way I have it plugged in is you know port one, two, three, four, five, and six. So if I want a, a cycling effect it's going to apply that effect to port one, then through six. And so if they're plugged in out of order, it'll be all up here, 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 and here. And so, um, so I don't want to get, uh, even though I have a second node that I could use, I could plug that into the second port of the, uh, the commander or whatever it's called in the back. I figured it'd be easier since I have two unused, uh, RGB controllers, for the pump, I'll figure I just use the pump and then they'll match what the pump will do. And so, um, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll do that a little bit later. Um, I'm also thinking about maybe getting some, I don't know where I'd put them, but maybe some RGG, RGB strips along, along the side or I don't know. We'll just, we'll revisit that idea later. We'll see how it looks and everything else. And then we'll make that judgment call later. So. So yeah, um, so we're gonna stop here, and until next time, uh, let me know if you have any other, if you have any comments, questions, uh, all that good stuff. Uh, so thanks for watching. If you aren't a subscriber, go and click the subscribe button if you want to see more of this kind of thing. Uh, if you want to be notified of my future content, hit the little buy icon, and uh, you know, like, share, all that kind of good stuff. Comment if you have questions, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. See ya.